Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for continuing to watch all of my wonderful videos and I'm so happy to be back on YouTube and recording all these videos for you. They will take a lot of time for me to edit them, so even though today is... Oh wait... Sorry. Today is Sunday, February 25th. A lot of these videos won't be pushed out until later this week because it does take time for me to edit them. Um, so pretty much what happens, just so you guys have kind of some feedback, once I am done with all of my videos or any one or two videos, I will upload it to my computer. After I upload it to com my computer, depending on how Sony does it, um, I have to convert it to an MP4 or .mov. Um, my last camera, my Canon, would only upload via .mp4, so then I would have to convert it to a .mov, so maybe I have a choice with Sony, don't know yet since I have not uploaded from my camcorder to my uh, desktop yet, but I will do that, and then from there I get to go ahead and edit, and that takes a while because once you edit, you have to convert it to your computer and then upload it to YouTube, because what I like to do is I like to see the video on YouTube first, just to make sure that it looks right, there's no issues, because if I upload directly from my software, my editing software to YouTube, I've had issues with that before with the software and I am saving or trying to save for a MacBook Pro at some point or MacBook um, that way that could because Mac Apple Mac have way better software <laughs> than PC and I just have a PC but if you guys want to help me out and save for me that'd be great but I know a lot of you can't do that so okay on to the next so I'm going to do a lot of the swatching, live swatching this time, um, as opposed to um, doing pre-swatching and then going over the colors. So that's why these videos are taking a little bit longer. So I was originally thinking about doing another giveaway for this next palette, but I decided to keep it and maybe use it. And if not, I can sanitize it and maybe sell it or give it away, but we'll see. So this is a legit Kylie Cosmetics palette. I know there are a lot of fakes out there and I'm going to tell you the difference between a fake and a dupe. So a fake is, if you guys don't know, somebody selling the exact product or trying to portray it as the exact product and state that it is a true Kylie Cosmetics product or a true Too Faced or Tarte product, but it actually isn't. And who knows what type of ingredients are inside of that palette, because we don't know. But there are ways to find out if what you have is a true and in fact Kylie Cosmetics product or it's a fake. And depending where you bought it, it's probably a fake. <laughs> Just saying. So this is the, I know my, here you go, Kylie uh, Cosmetics. This is a pressed powder palette, and including in this, it's got shadows, it's got a highlighter, and it's got blush. So this is the I Want It All from her birthday collection from 2017. I know this is a real true in fact Kylie Cosmetic product because I only buy Kylie Cosmetic products directly from her website. So it is very glorious, very glittery. Um, the glitter does kind of come off a little bit but it's nowhere near as bad as her uh, wet set highlighting palette that she came out with not too long ago, which I do not have because it's fucking $62. But I paid $62 for four highlights that I probably already have. And anyway, so um, here it is. And on the back it just says Kylie, Kylie Jenner pressed powder palette, birthday girl, buttercream frosting, party time, forever young, the new black, new year, new me, 1942 celebrate midnight it does also tell you how much it weighs um, and then they also have cheers and confetti for the highlight as well as the uh, blush it does say it's trademarked um, and Kylie came out with her stuff I'm assuming 2016 because that's what it says back here Kylie, Kylie Jenner, Kylie Cosmetics, Kylie Lip Kit by Kylie Jenner, and all other associated trademarks, service marks, designs, and images are owned solely by Kylie Jenner Incorporated. All rights reserved. 
distributed by King Kylie LLC, Woodland Hills, California. Zip code is listed as well as their website at kyliecosmetics.com. So let's take a look. So inside there is a plastic sheet, which is great. So thank you, Kylie, as well as a heart shaped mirror. So this is really pretty. I have not touched this at all. This is very thick. It's similar to Huda or Violet Voss, since I just did those videos. It's flimsy as fuck. <laughs> but it's fairly thick, I would say. Um, and just so you know, we'll go over the colors again and I'll show you. But they have, she has nine different um, eyeshadows, one blush, one highlight. So here you go, up close and personal. So hopefully you guys can see it because I can't really see it. Oh, sorry. So those are the eyeshadows. And here is your blush and your um, highlight. So I had to look underneath like that. Mm. So birthday girl. So we have, let me see if I can do this. We have birthday girl, buttercream frosting, party time. We have Forever Young, The New Black, which I don't know why it's pink, but okay. Um, we have, still have New Year, New Year, New Me. We have 1942, Celebrate and Midnight. And Cheers is the blush, and Confetti is the highlight. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, just packaging alone, gorgeous. Really think it's very cute. Um, it's really adorable for Kylie, um, I don't even remember what age she just turned, 20, I think, maybe she's 21 now, um, and congratulations, Kylie, I know you probably never would watch my video, but congratulations on your new baby, Stormy, very cute name, and I'm looking forward to your new Stormy palettes, uh, Eye of the Storm, and Calm Before the Storm, so those look really nice, although, Calm Before the Storm does not look like it would be very great on my skin tone. Um, not to say that I wouldn't buy it, because I have never bought any of her shadows. This is the first shadows that I've ever owned that I will ever swatch. Or that I have ever swatched. Not that to say that I won't swatch any other ones in the future. So, we've got one, two, three, four, five mattes out of nine. And then we have four, well, we actually, six mattes. And we have three shimmers. So we'll go ahead and swatch these suckers. Well, let's go ahead with Birthday Girl, which is a shimmer. I like that it's circular since that's the motion that I use for my swatching anyways. So that's the color. I'm just going to go right here. Pretty. Not bad. I'm going to swatch it again. So it's very light, champagne color, I would say, champagne glitter. The next color we have is buttercream frosting, which is right up there, which is a matte. This would be a great base or transition, however you want to consider it or call it. Um, this is a matte, this isn't gonna go on very well. Oh, surprise, surprise. It actually does go on. Be a great matte or a great matte or base. Great base slash transition. Next one is potty time. Girlfriend knows how to party. I know she knows how to party. Although I don't know how much partying she'll be doing after her baby. But I'm sure as she gets older she'll party. But that's that color. So actually not too bad. I'm surprised that her mattes. Her mattes are actually going on very well on my skin compared to Huda, which I'm shocked doesn't go on very well. Sorry, Huda. And sorry for all of you who love the Huda Beauty palettes. So the next one is Forever Young, which is a pink, kind of a light pink. And just so you know, I did buy three of these. One I gave to my cousin. She had a baby almost two years ago. And or maybe it's three years, I don't even know, because I don't keep that much contact with all my family. And I also did a giveaway for Kathleen2124 on my Twitter, so congrats to you again. Um, this is Forever Young. Um, it's very pink, but it still goes on fairly well for a matte. Let me go 
go ahead and wash my hands off. But I'm actually surprised. I mean, these mats are definitely going on way better than Huda did. So definitely shocked at that, considering, and I have powder on me. So the next one is the new black, which is a deeper, deep set pink. Again, another matte. Here you go. So, not too bad. Not the best color. It's not that dark for me on my skin tone. Next one, it almost looks like a duochrome, so it could be, but this is New Year, New Me. I'm surprised she didn't do this as a New Year's Christmas uh, palette instead of her birthday. Whatever, girl, do your thing. So that's that color. Really pretty. I think this is a duochrome. Looks like one. But I'm pressing a little bit harder, and it does come up really nice. I have <laughs> this color in a multiple other palettes as well, but that's okay. I like it. Um, next one is 1942, which I'm not sure what year that is of essence to her. Um, maybe it was Caitlyn's um, birthday. I'm not sure. Ooh, this one got a little clumpy. You can see. Maybe not. But it's a light brown, but it's a matte. Looks like my skin tone can't even see it but that's fine it can be a base as well or a transition for somebody uh, next one looks similar to another duochrome possibly and this is celebrate so very smooth a lot of these colors are very uh, as far as how they feel very smooth and that's that color okay but it does go on very nice. Surprised. It's really pretty, but it is a more bronzy tone. And then let's see what else we've got. After I wash my fingers off. Oh, midnight. It's black. It's a black mat. So, as you guys always know, I don't like doing the black mats, but I will, regardless. Silky smooth, silky smooth. Most mats, black mats, do not go on my skin very well. So let's see if Kylie is any different. By looking at it, no. Typical. Mm, it's messy. There you go. Swatching that is not fun. So I'm going to wash that finger right off because it's black and I don't want to get it all over the place. So let's go into these blushes. Let's see if I can swatch these well. I've never swatched a blush. So so here we have Cheers. Okay. Let's see what we can get out of this. I don't think this is going to be a great blush for me to swatch but that's what it looks like hopefully you can see that <laughs> you cannot see it on my skin see and that's what it looks like afterwards so <sighs> might as well just wipe that off so the next one is a highlight this is confetti right there and just make sure my hand is dry Woohoo! this is fun feels a little sandy sandy feels like sand just a little bit there you go so that's a nice highlight that would work so those are your colors And let's talk about my thoughts and I'll give you one last look. Ooh, sorry. There you guys go. So up close. 
All right, so my initial thoughts are these are really pretty colors. Um, the biggest thing that I worry about with Kylie's uh, when she comes out with any shadows is the fact that most of the time they're too light for my skin tone. She has come out with some darker colors as well. Um, overall, these didn't show up too bad, as you can see. But obviously the blush is not going to show up that well as a swatch. I don't know how many, because this was the first time I've ever swatched a blush. So I don't know how well that these actually show up anyways. But I do like the, the confetti, so I definitely will be dipping into that at some point. Um, some of her shimmers slash duochromes, as I would consider them, definitely showed up really nice. I will be using this color hands down. New Year, New Me, I think that one was. Um, so I do like this palette. Um, obviously it's not for sale anymore. If you can find it, you'd have to find it on eBay, Poshmark, Mercury, Mercari, however you pronounce that app, um, as well as some other buy and sell apps that you can download on your iPhone or your Android uh, through Google Play or the iTunes Store. So overall, I do like this palette. I probably will dip into it at some point, and I will give you guys a follow-up on my opinion of them. The pink shades definitely would not be using. Some of that, that one really light brown shade, that would be a good base, I would say. Um, this brown, uh, bronzy duochrome is how I would consider this shade, this um, uh, eyeshadow color. I would use that to fill in for my crease or fake a crease. Um, and I would use probably this color with this champagne color um, somehow. So I'll let you know how I like that. Um, I usually don't use black mattes. Um, there are some through Urban Decay Smoky Shadow Palette. I, I usually use that for my smoky eye look. Um, I do like the, those shadows a lot for a blackout look. But other than that, I do like that. So if you have the opportunity, have the chance to win it, buy it, grab it while you can. It is not on her website, guys, just so you know. But other than that, I love the palette. Um, I definitely would use, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, probably six, seven out of the 11 that she put in that palette. So that's not too bad. Um, I can't remember how much it was when I bought them, but I did buy three and now I have none since I just swatched that and it's no longer a giveaway since I swatched it. But I will use it at some point. So don't forget to subscribe below and make sure your notifications are on so you know when I push out new videos Have and always check for my uh, giveaways. I'm gonna start doing more giveaways. I'm gonna do a BH Cosmetics uh, brush, 18 brush, 18 piece brush set giveaway on my YouTube. So I know I put that on Twitter for all you Twitter followers, but it's going to go on here. It's going to go on my YouTube channel. So stay, uh, you know, make sure your notifications are on. I can't talk. Um, make sure your notifications are on and keep an eye out for when that's going to drop because I don't know when. It might be on some random video. So make sure you're watching my video from start to finish and I will let you know the rules for it. So thanks for watching as always, and I have one more swatch before I get to, one more eyeshadow swatch before I get to a couple other videos that I wanted to do tonight. So thanks for watching. Love you guys. Thanks for the support as always. So stay tuned. Be right back.